Hi everyone, this is Heather Lawton and from the Flourish Academy, where our goal is to empower, educate, and elevate you to create a life that you love through the art and business of photography. In this video, we are going to change the color of clothing inside of Lightroom, but first, make sure you check out our sponsor, ymcamera.com, for all of your photography needs, and I would especially like to point out today their pre-owned department. They get a lot of used cameras, lenses, and other associated gear in the store all the time, so you'll definitely want to check that out. I'd like to change the color of her skirt in this photograph, and this is previously something I would have done inside of Photoshop, but Lightroom has given us the tools, so let's check it out. Here's the overall before and after. I simply applied Susie's favorite preset, and now I'm going to press K in order to access the adjustment brush. And the first thing I wanna do is select her skirt. So I'm not sure what color I wanna make it yet, so let's start with the selection. We're going to zoom in to one-to-one. -to -one. Because this skirt has a nice edge to it, I'm going to make sure that auto mask is turned on. And I'm going to reset all of these sliders by holding down Alt or Option on the keyboard and clicking Reset. I'm not ready to do anything to the skirt just yet. I need to begin with the selection. So I'm making my brush bigger with the right bracket key. And I'm going to start to brush over it realizing that I forgot to press O on my keyboard in order to show the selected mask overlay. Now I can continue brushing, and as I get closer to these edges, I'll just make the brush smaller to make sure that I don't go beyond that edge, and I'm certain I'm going to make a few mistakes, but you can just brush over this. Auto mask works pretty well, especially in instances like this where you have a nice edge of contrast between what you are selecting and the background. Okay, I think I did a pretty good job with this selection. I just see this area down here that I went beyond the edge, so I'm going to hold down Alt or Option on my keyboard and brush over that area in order to subtract it out. I did the same over here on this side, so I'm just going to take care of that and any little tiny areas I can Perfect along the edge. I think that that looks pretty good. Okay, so let's zoom back out. I'm going to press H in order to hide the pin and then O in order to turn the overlay off. And the first thing I'm going to do is click in the color box and select a different color, maybe this blue greenish color over in this area. Now, the reason it looks so desaturated is because the saturation is currently set to 52%. So if I increase that to 100%, you can see that I have a different color. You can drag this color along the top edge of this box to maintain 100% saturation in any of these colors in order to get a different hue which is pretty amazing. I quite like this coral color. I think it's really pretty. But what's interesting is I can't desaturate the coral color and get the same effect because the original purple color will mix with that 60% saturation of coral. So if that's the case, what you can do is pull down on the saturation to negative 100. And essentially what you're doing here is taking away all of the purple. So that skirt no longer has any purple in it. So now I can come in and pick any color in any saturation range and <laughs> look at that, I put it back to purple, which is pretty funny. But I do like this kind of warm coral color in this area and I can change it now without the purple mixing into that. But you can take it one step farther. You can come into the exposure and pull it down a little bit in order to make it a little bit deeper. You could do the same with the shadows and give it a little bit more depth. So this starts to create some really interesting color combinations that you can change in effect as you move through these sliders. When I first started experimenting with this feature inside of Lightroom several versions ago, I was pleasantly surprised at how realistic it looks because if we take a look at the overall before and after, I don't think you would have known that her skirt was a different color unless you had seen the original. Let's take this color back to my favorite coral. And then what I'm going to do is click new in order to get a new pin. 
I'm going to press O in order to show the mask overlay. Let's zoom in and quickly select the hat and we can make it a different color as well. So let's make that brush a little bit bigger as I brush over it and select it. And then we'll zoom back out and press O in order to turn off that overlay and see if we can't add some sort of fun color into this hat. And the reason I wanted to show this to you is because the original hat was very light in color, it can be really difficult to make this look authentic because even as I pull down on the exposure or let's say the highlights, it's still just not looking very natural. So I think that you could maybe adjust the tint of it a little bit, but I'm seeing some lines in there I don't like. And again, I wanted to show that to you just to say that this does not work on all types of colors and fabrics. You'll just have to experiment and see what works best for your photo. But let's take a, a look again at the overall before and after. I hope that you found this useful. I'll see you in the next video.